737-NG, 747-5767-777. Boeing's head of commercial aircraft services, Lou Mancini, oversees a lot of the work we in the traveling public never see, but are thankful he's there. Twice on my tours through the Boeing facilities in and around Seattle, I heard the 787 likened to a smartphone. Its heavily electrical architecture allows a lot of remote viewing of the plane's key components in flight. With the 787, we know in real time how the airplane is performing and what the sensors are telling us about maintenance needs. Why were your sensors and monitors not able to detect the battery problem? The battery was not being monitored. Is it now? Uh, parts of it. Mm -hmm. You're monitoring electrical s uh, uh, signals throughout the airplane. You're monitoring power panels. You're monitoring uh, fluids. Uh, you're monitoring uh, uh, actuators and flight controls and things of that nature. Could your center potentially isolate a problem, identify a problem before the flight deck? It, it can do that and if we see anything we immediately contact the customer. So the 787 is an extremely intelligent airplane. Uh, it's very rich with data and as soon as that airplane starts rolling uh, even before it rotates for takeoff, we can start getting real-time information from that airplane. So is that anything that's plugged in, you can probably get some sort of indication through health monitoring that would give us an indication of how healthy or, or maybe there's a problem that's, that's occurring on that airplane. But with new aircraft like the 787 and its unique features like the fuselage mounted air scoop intakes, unforeseen troubles do arise. Unfortunately, we had an event occur with one of our operators. Uh, they had an overheat condition. We think that there's something potentially blocking those inlets. And sure enough, they actually found debris on that airplane and yet another airplane. Um, but they were able to clear the debris and they never had an event. What was it? Um, plastic bag or a t-shirt, I believe. Here's the million dollar question for okay, you. Okay, I'm ready. Does this make flying in the 787 safer? It's a safe aircraft, I know. It's a brilliant aircraft. <laughs> it's absolutely 100% safe. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg, Seattle.